Nada, não, eu tô rindo. No, anybody that work for themselves, know that when you work for yourself, it's not a nine to five job. Definitely not. Never. You know, the show makes it look like we depend on alligators for a yearly income, but our main deal is, is crawfish. We buy crawfish uh, probably, what, seven months out of the year. Oh, most of the time, about eight or nine months. We start in November, and usually we go at least to July or August till we stop the fish alligators. Here, like this year, we're running out of water. The basin is drying up. Uh, at home, we got a bumper crop, but we're running out of water, so we're going to finish early this year. Most probably by July, it'll be all over with, but Normally it'll go till all. That picture right there, we never took a lot of pictures. And uh, that day right there, I'll never forget that as long as I live. I caught, I had the record in Pierre Port for a long time of catching the most crawfish. That day there, I caught 108 sacks of crawfish. And before I went to sell them, I came home, because I knew I would never catch more than that again. I had a gut instinct that I would never catch more than that. I came home and I told my wife, they find a camera. And it took about a half hour. My crawfish were baking in the sun. <laughs> but she finally found a camera and we took a picture. That day there, we caught 108 sacks of crawfish. And uh, I never caught more than that again, and I knew I would never catch more than that. That's why I went home and took a picture. <laughs> That was in 1992. That was the last year that I fished crawfish uh, full, full time. We, uh, we had Hurricane Andrew, and after Hurricane Andrew, it killed, it probably killed like a million fish in the basin. There had dead fish everywhere. And I guess with no fish uh, to eat the little crawfish, we had a bumper crop of crawfish that year. And uh, I was catching about 70 or 80 sacks a day, every day just about that I could sell them. And that day there, my buyer told me, catch all you can tomorrow. So I hired me a help. I bought a helper with me. We caught 108 sacks that day. And uh, my buyer gave me so much trouble that year that uh, we started looking for other places to sell our crawfish. And that's the next year we started a business uh, selling our own. And I tried to buy and sell crawfish and fish for the first couple of years. But it didn't work. We had to, I had to make up my mind either to be a, a full-time fisherman or a full-time buyer. And I was making more money buying. So ever since that, uh, Jacob still fishes a little bit. He did until they started filming us about three years ago the last year you fished. Uh, but uh, I haven't fished since about maybe 95 or 96 crawfish. And uh, now uh, we buy and sell was probably an average of about five or six million pounds a year of crawfish. Yeah, that's full time. That's about eight, nine months out of the year. And then when we're not playing with crawfish, we're trying to catch some big alligators. So we can shoot 